this tutorial, we will see the different option in the cutting toolbar. Firstly, let's look at the cutout. In order to do the cutout, you need to have a close profile. Go for the cutting, cutout, and select the sketch, and then click on the preview in order to do a cutout. Similar thing could be done if you create a circular profile as well. You just select the cutout and select this as our sketch. Click on OK. You can see the cutout is being created in any profile that we create. Now let's look at the uh, circular cutout. In order to do the circular cutout, you need to have a point being created. You can create a point by going for the sketch and then creating a point. Exit the sketch and then go for cutting circular cutout. Specify the point and the face will be automatically selected. Now you can increase or decrease the radius of the cutout that you want to give. And based on that radius or based on that diameter, the cutout will be created. Now let's look at the next option that is the hole option. For creating the hole in the cutting option, go for the hole and select the point that we have created previously and then select the sheet metal surface and then we can increase or decrease the diameter of the hole click on the preview let's now try the corner and the chamfer in the corner click on the edge that you would like to give the corner option click on the preview and you can see based on the radius or diameter that we have given here the corner is being created this option is very much similar to the option that we have in the part design workbench now let's look at the chamfer option in the chamfer option we have similar option that we have already seen in the part design workbench we just have to switch between the length 1 and length 2 or length 1 and angle based on however we want to give the input we can select it that way click on the preview and click on ok that's about the uh, chamfer option and that's about the cutting tools and let's see what comes ahead thank you for watching